Good afternoon, people. Watch them in 65, Lisa Boyce. Um, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace, through faith, in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life once you accept christ as savior the holy spirit indwells in you the holy spirit changes you the holy spirit is your best friend forever the holy spirit leads you and guides you not only are you saved and rapture ready but the holy spirit seals you until the day of redemption which means you will not lose your salvation period you won't lose your salvation uh, before I get into this article I want to give some verses of scripture because this article this just came out and I was talking to wackadoodle Samoan and he brought up a verse of scripture that I overlooked and it's related to this article let me give you Isaiah 66 Isaiah 66 8 and I had to think about it it's Isaiah 66 8 it says Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Here's another one. And this is one that he gave me. 1 Peter 2.9 Let's look at this. First Peter 2 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Folks, there is and there is coming. A nationwide emergency alert test that is set to take place on August 11th. Now, when I first read this, and I'm going to be honest with you, it gave me chills. I've never... Now, I've had, <laughs> I've had cell phones. I've worked at a cell phone store. I've never been alerted of an emergency alert test. Never had one. At least as far as I remember. No. An emergency alert test will be sent to televisions, radios, and select cell phones nationwide. Issued by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, better known as FEMA. According to AZ Family, the test will begin 11.20 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on August 11th and will be sent to electronics that have opted to receive text messages. Alan Clark, Director of Arizona Division of uh, Emergency Management, stated the department wanted to let Arizonians know about the scheduled test so they won't be alarmed when they hear or see the alerts. This will be the second ever test of the WEA system on mobile devices and the first test of the systems with the opt-in feature present. My question is why are they doing it now? The message will display in either English or Spanish depending on the language setting of each phone that has opted in to receive the message. This will be interesting because 
Here lately, over the past, I say, oh, month or two, we got quite a bit of updates on both, because both my husband and I use Apple products. And we got quite a bit of updates. Delilah, stop. This test will be the sixth ever test sent over television and radio. I get those tests all the time because we have a cable. We get tests like that all the time, once a week. But I vaguely remember anything ever coming over the phone. I don't know. I could be wrong. According to WWLP, the purpose of the August 11th test is to ensure that the uh, EAS and the WEA systems continue to be an effective means of warning the public about emergencies, particularly those on the national level. Periodic testing of public alert and warning systems helps to assess the operational readiness of alerting infrastructure and to identify any needed technological and administrative improvements. B.S. Delilah. Delilah, stop. <laughs> the WEA portion of the test will be initiated using FEMA's Integrated Public Alert and Warning System, better known as IPAWS. A centralized internet-based uh, system administered by FEMA that enables authorities to send authenticated emergency messages to the public through multiple communications network. Now, you know what just dropped in my spirit just now. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking cyber attack. I don't know why that just dropped in my, <laughs> that just dropped in my spirit just now. And they're expecting something. The WEA test will be administered via a code that alerts only phones that have opted in to receive WEA test messages. The EAS portion of the test will be initiated using FEMA designated primary entry point stations. In case the August 11th test is canceled due to widespread severe weather or other significant events, a backup testing date is scheduled for August 25th. Um, I got chills from this just now, and I got a feeling they're expecting something to happen. Now, when I was reading this, the thing that dropped in my spirit, and I hadn't even thought about it, was cyber attack. I could be wrong. I don't know. Could be nothing. It could just be a test. Keep this in mind while you're thinking that. That it could be nothing. It could be a test. There's no co there. This is no coincidence. And this is no accident. That this is happening. Just to give you something to think about. This is not a coincidence. And this is not an accident. Nothing in the spiritual is a coincidence. It's all done for a reason. This is no exception. I'm going to link this article in the description box and I will be back with the next video. Oh, and another thing. Israel might go to war with Iran. Matter of fact, I almost, I almost think it's imminent. Things are happening. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't exciting. <laughs> I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.